Hello, in this video, I'm going to tell you about clonal selection. Uh, so it's the process by which a B or T cell divides and forms more highly specialized cells in response to a specific antigen. Uh, so once a B or T cell um, encounters the pathogen that it's going to spend its whole life destroying, uh, at that point, we would say that that cell has differentiated. So it's no longer a naive blank slate cell. Now it is differentiated and it is forever going to target that specific pathogen. When that happens, it will start to divide and make a whole army of cells that are exactly identical to that original cell. Uh, so those, those copy cells, those clones, are not going to be naive cells. They're not blank slates. Those are only produced by the red bone marrow. Uh, but these are clones of that original cell. Um, so now we have an entire army of cells that are targeting that specific pathogen that that B or T cell just encountered. Uh, so before that first exposure, there might be only a few B or T cells that recognize that pathogen. But once clonal selection happens, now there are thousands. We have armies of thousands of clones of those B or T cells. So now we have a huge army that is going to go out and help fight against that infection. Uh, those clones then will spread throughout the lymphatic system, through our blood, into our tonsils, our lymph nodes, everywhere. Um, and it's going to help to fight and destroy all of those exact pathogens. So not they're not going to fight against any other pathogens, but only the one that was originally targeted by the first B or T cell that started this whole clone army. Uh, some of the cells that are a result of the clonal selection will be what are called memory cells. Uh, so that's like, you know, we, we make this whole army of cells. If we send out every single cell to go fight in this war, they could all die. But if we keep back a few cells whose job it is to remember then even if all the ones that go to war with that pathogen, even if those are all killed in the battle, we still are going to have some of those cells that remain behind uh, that are going to remember. It's going to keep a record of what happened here so that if we do encounter that pathogen again, we already have immune cells that have experience with that pathogen and we can mount an immune response much more quickly because we have that immunological memory uh, that was part of our, our army of clones that we created. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.